welcome to guest tutorials and i'll be continuing with the lt spice series now in the previous video we looked at this simple circuit and i showed you how to assemble it and essentially run the simulation so i already have the simulation running now in this video i want to show you how to use cursors and how to change your axes so now i just want to press this button again so i'm running the simulation again and if i probe that point then I get a green line, which is associated with the voltage at this node. Now, if I want to have cursors, which accurately give me the value at each point on this line, well, this is a constant line, it's a DC voltage. So it should be the same throughout in an ideal situation. And if I put a cursor there, you'd see that on the, so this is just a pointer for now, let's call it a pointer. So if I put this pointer here, you see that on the bottom left, I have values for the X and Y, but these aren't quite accurate, or it's quite difficult to have your mouse hovering over your, your outputs. So what you can do is you're going to click on the label. So this label over here, which is associated with the point which you just probed. So if I click on that, you'd see that I have a, a pop-up here. And this pop-up is associated with this cursor, which just came up here. So I can literally drag this. And as you can see, the X value changes, but the Y value is the same. Because as I said, expect the voltage to be constant throughout. Now, if you double click that, a second cursor comes up. And you can actually see a bunch of things from the pop-up now. So you can see the difference between the times of these two things, the frequency and a lot of other things, depending on your application. So that is all with regards to cursors. So even if you have another point, let's say you decide to probe this point there, which has its own line, then you just click on it to have the cursors for that pop up and double click as well to have two cursors for that as well. So now that is how you use cursors. You just click on the label which you're trying to um, analyze. And if you want two cursors, then just double click. Now next, I want to show you how to adjust your axes. So here on the Y, you can just right click on that and you have a bunch of options depending on which setting you have for your simulation as well as the values which are already there. So you can increase the value there to let's say 7 volts if you want and as you can see it increases to about 7 volts up there and you can do the same for the bottom so you can specify a different amount let's say negative 1 and it goes from negative 1 to 7 at the top and if you want to change the scale you can just click on that say okay and you see that it changes to a logarithmic scale and if you unclick or uncheck that and rerun See, it goes back to the linear scale. And the same thing applies to the axis on the bottom. You can just see the options that you have over here and you can specify how often it counts, which will be the tick and the left and the right limits. So this is all which I wanted to cover in this video. It's quite simple, but it's very useful in many other situations. This is just a simplified example of how you'd use cursors and how you'd want to change your axes. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.